Um, so my name is Hen my name is Henry Arn. Basically, I just want to show a bit of a garbage project um, that I've been working on with Greg. I think Greg, you're on the call. If you are, just maybe say hi in the chat um, briefly. But basically, uh, we had this idea that there are so many different co-pilot resources. Even just 10 minutes ago, I learned about this cool prompt GitHub repo that Gary had shown. So um, with all of these resources, it can be a bit confusing just um, to keep track of every single one of them. Some are you know, geared towards helping you with training, some are cool prompts, milestones that Copilot is achieving. So the idea is, could we not create a kind of centralized dashboard where all of these resources are aggregated into one place? So that's pretty much what we've done, uh, what we've set out to do. So we've made a dashboard that you can install with one one simple CLI takes about five minutes and it combines all of the different resources into a Vivo Connections dashboard or just a regular SharePoint page. So you don't need an, an actual Copilot license yet in order to be able to use that. And like I've said, basically it just combines things like the roadmaps, other resources, workshops. I'd be happy to extend it. So if you have any suggestions, what should be on a dashboard like this in your opinion, for example, um, those cool prompts that we've seen earlier, then you know, drop them in the chat. Um, speaking of the chat, I'll also drop the link to the GitHub repository, which I'll show in just a second um, in there. And yeah, the idea is if you have that, it just makes it easier for yourself or other people on your team to learn what's new, what's changing, what's happening with Copilot, because it is changing every day. So having one dashboard basically helps to keep track of all of that. Um, so just to basically shortcut, um, I'm not going to show all the slides, instead focus on how to actually, um, what you're actually getting um, out of the box here. So basically that's the finished product. Uh, I'm here in a Vivo Connections dashboard and my CLI, which I'll show in a minute, has already installed all of the different cards here. So you get, for example, the customer hub that shows you sort of sessions that Microsoft offer. It shows you the Copilot blog. So that's just um, you know all of the recent announcements from the Copilot blog. So there's all of these different things like the Copilot scenarios that could just be a quick reference if you're speaking to you know a colleague and you'd like to maybe point that colleague in like the right direction, what the legal department might do with Copilot, then you can just click it really conveniently. Um, you have Viva learning resources um, that could be of interest to your users. So there's really a few things in here that um, could be, for example, the roadmap, really important to keep track of. These work right out of the box. So there's not much you need to do with most of them. But as you'll see, there's also some cards in here that um, you could further have configured or modify um, as you wish. So to basically show how that installation process works, I'm just going to share my remote desktop here. So I hope that's coming through. Basically, this is the URL you're, you'll navigate to, or you just go back in the recording to the QR code, or I'll drop the URL after my segment into chat. And it's basically just a GitHub repository. It kind of explains the same things I've been explaining to you now. So different cards that are included in here. It also will tell you which cards work out of the box. Um, so some cards, um, you know, let's say as an example, the um, the early adopters card. Well, that's actually a Viva Engage um, community template that needs applied here. So that card would need configured after your installation. Uh, same with Teams Premium, that's more a suggestion. Um, so if you want that, you can uh, reach out to me and then we'll talk about how to configure it. But if that isn't exactly what you want from your dashboard, then you, know, you can just uh, go ahead and delete that. But anyways, you are here in this GitHub repository and to install it, basically all, all we will do is download the zip archive. So it's a very simple command line interface that we're downloading here. I just click here um, to download the latest version. 
and that's downloading. And then all I have to do is basically extract that. And then I get an exe file. Um, so in here is also a JSON that defines all of the different cards. You get a SharePoint package that installs that is used to basically create these cards. But you just run this as an administrator. So I'm going to say yes. And then you have a choice whether you want to install this dashboard as a Vivo Connections dashboard, like I've shown, or there's also the choice to do it as a regular SharePoint page. Perhaps you don't want to mess up the one Vivo Connections experience that you guys have in your organization. So if that's the case, SharePoint is like a good alternate, and I'm going to show that. So basically, I just pick a page that I want to target here and copy that link. And then I go back to my command line interface and then say I want to install it as a SharePoint page. Then it's asking me for that URL where it's going to add that as an extra page. So it's not going to overwrite anything. And I just put that in here. I wanted to install in the sales and marketing site. So I click uh, OK. Now I need to log in um, just so the CLI can actually log on to your SharePoint. So you will need to be a global administrator for this. Um, and it's just asking you, are you a global administrator? And you're going to say, yes, I have that permission. And then it's going to basically install this um, page. This will take about a minute. Um, so I hope I can think of enough things to say um, in the meantime. Um, for example, what are other things you could be doing as this is installing once you have this installed? For example, there's also a built-in Adaptive Card Designer. That's obviously an open source designer uh, from Microsoft um, that you could, for example, then modify and tweak those cards with. So I'll hopefully we'll be able to show that um, as well, check in the time. Yes, I think I will. So just waiting for that to run its course. Really didn't um, time the installation very well. I think it might be paused as well. It's got the select on. I don't know if you need to yeah, escape. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. I could have waited a long time here. Um, <laughs> so the dashboard's ready. It's giving me the link where I need to go. Um, so I'm just going to copy that across, copy that into my browser here, and then that will take me to my new page. steps yet and yeah basically this page consists of a plethora of web parts which um, contain all of those lovely resources that i have um, pointed out to you for example different prompts uh, updates from the copilot blog um, updates from the microsoft 365 roadmap um, a glossary of ai related terms uh, or copilot related terms that is of interest um, those different scenarios, um, and you can basically make with this what you want. Um, so if you like how this looks, then there's nothing for you to do, but you can very easily just go ahead and edit one of um, one of the existing web parts here. So just um, basically you, you select, let's say this one, edit the web part. That then edits um, allows you to edit it in a designer. So if you open that, you get basically a version of Microsoft's um, Adaptive Cards Designer. And you can just make some changes in here. Say you want this um, to be a different color um, and maybe really large. And then, uh, you know, I'm not going to explain. It's mostly low code, but obviously you can spend a whole evening in here. But if you then change something, then your web part I kind of messed it up with the color here, but then the web part updates what you've done, just done in the designer. And yeah, basically that's how simple it is. Uh, you just go to GitHub, download that zip archive. Um, and then let me just go back to my uh, full screen presentation for a sec for a second. Um, 
so that that would be something you would be able to do um you can also make your own cards with this so if you have any kind of idea like digital signage or you know some other resource that your organization might want to show uh, on its copilot dashboard then you could do that and yeah basically the idea is that if you've deployed this um, you just you know highlight all the different resources in one key place that would be useful for yourself that could be useful for other people on your team and then it's just easier to find all of those um, updates and resources and if you also create your own cards you get the benefit that you could you know better leverage your existing Microsoft investment you could add cards that tap into Microsoft graph um, data so if you want to project that on your dashboard, then you could do that also. Um, otherwise, um, if you have any questions, uh, I'm a little, no, I'm actually right on time. So if it's one question, I, we can be quick. If not, I'll try and take a few things um, over chat for until the rest of the call. Thank you very much. Thank you.